At Grinding Stone Race 1, Cody Webb came out swinging. He worked his way to the front and proved to himself and everybody else that he's capable of winning. But Tristan came back to win Race 2, showing that he is still top dog. Race 3 required full focus and commitment from the riders to get up these massive sandstone features. The sandstone cliffs spared no one. Even Tristan and Cody launched their bikes when they were all out of options. At one point or another, everybody had their bike coming back down the grinding stone. Tristan eventually broke away and lapped all the way up to fourth, securing his second win of the season. With a drastic change in the terrain for round three, riders must gear up for the East Coast mud and lack of traction. Let's see what happens at round three of Battle of the Goats. Round three of the 2023 IRC US Hard Enduro Series presented by Klein is the famously brutal Battle of the Goats. Battle of the Goats is the first East Coast round, so the first wet, foresty, snotty, rocky race that we do. It's gonna be gnarly. This race is gonna wear you out. For sure this race will, will beat you down mentally and physically. If you slide off a side hill, just thinking about getting your bike up to that side hill is daunting. Mental beat down, physical beat down, we're gonna be tired. The top five for sure aren't gonna be helping each other. Every man for themselves. Grown men are going to look defeated. Like, just take me now, God, it's over. <laughs> For sure, everyone's gonna be bugged come Sunday, so it's survival of the fittest. Oh, Danny! I'm planning to go as hard as I can from start to finish and prove why there's number one on my bike. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a slow beat down. Every section there's rock slabs and there's no run for them. They're super slimy, mossy rocks and there's definitely gonna be carnage on them for sure. This race has the reputation of getting harder every year and never seems to avoid the rain. With the rain, the dirt, root rocks, everything gets so slick. Like waterfall type stuff, if you don't make it, you get buggered so quick. You know, coming from trials, riding on rocks and nasty, slimy conditions. Those hill climbs here, they, uh, they'll sneak up on you. The track is extremely long and we're racing for six hours. But the endurance that you need to finish the race has to be tip top. I'm gonna give it my all and see what I can do. I'm not chasing the win anymore. I mean, that's the end goal, but there's three to five hours in between the start and finish. So main goal is focus on everything between the start and finish, and hopefully the finish just comes to me and be up front. Shooting for a top five and uh, show the factory guys what's up. Like I always say, who wants it the most? And that's probably who's gonna win this weekend. So we'll see who wants it. completely different than it's been all week. Let's see what these AMs got. All the rain last night made this absolutely treacherous. We got six inches of mud sitting on top of slippery tires and logs that are latticed across each other. 
It's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be fantastic. We got 20 plus guys on the same hill. They're all filtering into the same line right now, all at the top. It's so slick, it's so difficult. Oh, so close. That's the best part of the weekend, being able to come here and watch the amateurs on Saturday. I mean, live for that, that's the best, so. It's kind of down here. What's going on right now? Hey. If you don't ride hard enduro, you're probably like, what the hell are these guys doing? How's that fun? They've got to be mentally ill. But we're going way out into the forest. It's all an adventure. this hill so trying to give these guys some words of encouragement to just keep going and I know they're tired but they can do it. Racers are lined up based on sign up day, putting some of our top rows several rows back. Cody Webb starts five rows back, already starting five minutes behind. Tristan starts a row behind Cody. Will Reardon makes a charge through the mid-pack and sends a clean line up Chicken Fight Hill. Come around on the second lap, and it was just chaos. I mean, because we caught all the lappers that were like maybe less than half of the way through. So the second lap was just chaos. Hey! Lappers! Dude. So many challenges throughout the race that we overcome and we have to do lap after lap. Hard and dry, you literally maybe couldn't even finish a lap. We got a bunch of lappers and Will Reardon coming through on his second lap with Cody Webb right behind him. Will came through here and cleaned this hill on the first lap and he looks like he's on a roll. We got Logan Bob here working his way through lappers right now. Tristan Hart's close behind. 
time, he started way far back. So he's been doing some work, making a lot of passes. Tristan Hart is a man on a mission right now. Chicken bike club or whatever it's called. It's just like rocks and sticks and there's there's no good straight lines. We got Danny Lewis right here. He's got to work his way around some lappers. He rides right up it. You'll come to some of these creek beds, some of these hills. There'll be 30 different lines. Dudes on half the lines. So you got to change your line. You never know where you're going to go. It looks like Brandon Petrie is loving this North Carolina sun. Oh boy. Cody started on row five, so essentially giving a five minute head start to everyone uh, and came across the line physically first. So had a pretty successful run. Got a good start, it was super sloppy. And it was one of those things where you know it's gonna suck. So you make the best of it and have a good time. The bike's working awesome. It worked out well for me. Should be a good one tomorrow. It's gonna be, I asked for it tough, it's gonna be tough. Okay, we're ready to go for the main pro race Sunday. These guys are in for a big one. The course is slick, there's all these massive creeks. The course gets progressively harder and harder. It's gonna be a big day, two laps. We'll see who can get the job done. You know, it's more of a personal battle, I think. You know, like we've got these huge hills, it's raining, you're cramping, it's hot, and it's just you and your bike. The toughest man pulls through, I guess. Logan, James, Brandon, and Colton all try to break away from the mid pack. Rider, Tristan cleans Chicken Fight Hill with Cody right behind him. Years past here, maybe I pushed a little bit too hard and fell apart that second lap with cramping, so playing it smart and patient and not kind of blowing my energy first lap. Cody Webb just got up to the top of Chicken and he's in third place. Roddy Smooth just trying to find his flow at the early stage of this race. Tristan caught Ryder leads the race into Upper Chicken, picking the most direct line through the challenging obstacle. Ryder is in a close second. We got Cody Webb and Will Reardon in third and fourth place coming into Upper Chicken here. We're starting to experience what happens once you uncover these leaves on top of these big slick rocks. It's wet and slippery underneath. And this is the first time Cody's seeing this, so he's gonna have to work his way up this all new. To be successful out here, you just, it's so huge to just make those hills first try. You waste so much time and energy if you start having to crisscross or turn around. There it is. Uh oh, uh oh. Will goes down a little high side. Mr. Experience rolls on through. Danny is one of our up and coming riders, and he gets better every single race. Oh, Danny. That's the quickest and easiest way to burn matches. Us little guys have trouble pushing, so not fighting it and pushing it and being an idiot out there really. <laughs> the chances of that happen are super slim. <laughs>
Mistakes are important. As long as you learn from the mistakes, you're good as gold. James Flynn jockeying for position here, trying to get by Colton Haker. Both of them are fighting for the line right now. It's almost a matter of who can get to the spot first. One, two, three, four guys in a five foot section. Yeah, I'm thinking around it. Hey, can I go around that log? You better, come on. Come on, Quinn. What the fuck? Logan Ballapu sending it up the rocks. He's in now. That's a lot of dudes in one spot. These guys are all jockeying for position. They want to get to the top first because they know if they can break away, they're going to have less traffic to deal with in the future. Throttle control, staying back on the bike, looking for little edges here and there, dirt, dry rock, whatever, anything you can to try to find a little bit of traction. Look at Paul to you, crest the top of this first piece of upper chicken, using those trial skills to get the job done. Good job, Logan. Nick Barringer's sandwiched his body in between his tree and his motorcycle, using the tree as a buffer. Pays off though, he found a little crack and he made it to the top. All the rocks over here are so smooth and as soon as they get water on them, they're so slippery. It's like ice, it's, it's really slick. These slick waterfalls claim victim after victim. Nice, Will, nice job, bud. We're a little over two minutes behind Will right now. Fifth place. Sherco off-road motorcycles are factory from the showroom floor. We offer a full lineup of two and four-stroke motorcycles, ready for your next adventure. Our 2022 champ and current leader, Tristan Hart, getting ready to go at Wessels Waterfall. Let's see what he's got. For the super slippery rocks out here, you're just trying to carry a lot of momentum into it. It just comes down to how well you can stay on the pegs and keep going. Cody goes for Wessels Waterfall. See if he's able to make it work. Gets the job done. There's definitely some really tough times mentally out there. So many steep hills, you're trying to hold yourself up on the bike and not loop out. Ryder LeBlanc coming into Wessels Waterfall. He doesn't even stop and he goes straight for it. It can be tough out there. You know, I just have that never give up mentality. It's all pretty satisfying because you overcome the challenge. Cody loses precious time and his position when Ryder passes into second. He fixes his bike and continues on. There's just super steep hills that keep going and going and going. And if you break traction, you're coming back. You're going backwards. my bike up down there. On these slimy waterfalls, even our top pros sometimes get a forced read. There's stuff you kind of think, I might not be able to get up this. You don't think like that. So I just think the quicker I go, the quicker it's finished, then it'll all be over.
So this race is one of the hardest because, you know, the terrain, it's slippery, it's east coast, there's everything, rocks, logs, hills. Off cambers, you're sliding down, up hills, you're going up and then you're going back down quicker than you're going up. Okay, here's our leader, Tristan Hart, nearing the end of his first lap. Still charging super hard. He's a man on a mission once again. People think I'm cranky sometimes or not super sociable, but I'm just always, when I show up to the race, I switch flips and I'm just focused because I don't want to let my guard down. I don't want to lose that edge that I got. Here comes Tristan working his way around all these bikes. He's having to do some crazy robot Tristan stuff to get in here and get his shot at going up this hill. I think during the race, I just go into this robot mode or whatever it is, I don't know, but I just shut everything out and I'm just so focused on what I'm doing. I'm just thinking about every little step that I have to achieve that day. Good job, robot! Classic robot fashion, he finds a line and gets there. Tristan's having to work right now. These are the kind of energy expenditures that burn matches and make the latter half of the race that much more difficult. Still going for big doubles on a hard throw. Line of LeBlanc here for a quick pit stop and then back out for lap two. I think out of all the races, this one is probably the one I want to be up there the most at. Cody's putting on a nice charge coming into the pit. He's gonna get a little fresh enough before he goes out for lap two. Keep on charging. On the second lap, riders are in survival mode, trying to find traction on these rutted hills. You have to be a little bit sick in the head to enjoy these races. Like you have to be, you have to like the pain and the suffering that it comes with it. That's a requirement if you want to continue to race hard enduro. Tristan purposely stalled his bike out because he didn't want his bike to over rev to the point where he had a mechanical issue. The less mistakes, the less energy you're going to spend. So if you can just clean everything first go, that's ideal, but it's not realistic to clean everything. So. Dang, that's some crazy robot shit right there. No problem. Rider is about five or 10 minutes behind Tristan Hart. Veteran Cody Webb has been chipping away at the lead that Ryder had on him, and now he's right on him. This is where Cody's gonna be able to break him down. His technical skills are able to save him energy and move him forward faster. A difference in line choice gives Cody his opening to take back second. Ryder ultimately follows Cody up the creek bed. With the robot, He's working his way up Little Romania. This is a really long, steep hauler that just seems like it's never ending and just gets more and more slick. When you're in battles and if you've got time to make up, there's no room for mistakes because you're, you're so focused and you're in a battle, it takes not much to get fired up and uh, a bit angry. Hey, hey, come on! I'm laughing here, dude! Tristan has been relentless this entire race. And he's putting on a final charge to get as much of a gap in on his competition to send a message. Woo! Tristan Hart is still going for it. Damn, son! Nice job, dude. What planet are you on? Planet Robot. 
I put a lot of pressure on myself, like a lot of pressure, and I think maybe that's not super healthy, but that's just the way I know how to do it, and that's what works for me. Tony Webb charging his way to the finish, still fresh, killing it, second place, Cody Webb. You know, I just have that never give up mentality and, you know, digging deep and knowing that giving up is not an option. with a podium finish. Good job, Ryder. You know, sometimes when you're chasing it that long and sometimes you just keep getting the same results, sometimes you doubt yourself, things you're doing, and recently I haven't been doubting myself. I feel like we're at a good point, so I gotta get this win at some point, but there's definitely more steps to take in between the start and finish rather than just getting the win. My goal is podium, it's always podium, and I feel like we're getting closer for sure. Nice. I think at the top of any sport, the top guys just on another level because of their mentality. That's really the only difference. I think Colton, Cooper, Will, Cody, they can all do the same stuff as me. Like there's no difference. Like when we're practicing, there's not much difference between me and them. But when we come to the race, I don't know what it is, but some people deal with pressure differently and under pressure I ride pretty good, I guess. Tristan once again continued his winning streak. Next up is Tough Like Roar, which kicks off the Keystone Challenge, a three-day hard enduro event in Pennsylvania.